Hello, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you guys are great. I hope you're having a good day no matter where you are. All right. So what happens when America comes last? What happens when the needs of the American people are not taken care of by our own administration? What happens when when our administration is there for other countries, but kicks its own people to the curb. Let's get right into it. The US has sent trillions of dollars to Ukraine over the last four years. The military pulled out of Afghanistan and left all of their guns, ammo, trucks, tanks, everything that the Afghanis needed to take over the people of their country under the orders by the current administration. Seems the administration is always there willing to give away the taxpayer dollars, but when a disaster happens in our own country, the administration doesn't do a thing, doesn't lift a finger to help their own people. Our people get a few hundred bucks in turn for their entire lives being lost and destroyed. You don't think so? Here's just a few examples. Maui. On August 8th of 2023, a wildfire broke out in Maui. Lahaina was completely burnt to the ground. People were without power. Houses were destroyed. People were dead. People were displaced with nowhere to go. Children were missing. The government didn't do much to help the people of Maui slash Lahaina. They wanted to offer them a few hundred bucks and a, hey, good luck. There's the door trying to demand that the people sell them their land in return for a very, very small check. That's how our current administration treated its own people. Let's fast forward. North Carolina, on Sept- in, at the end of September of 2024, a hurricane took a steer toward North Carolina and a flash flood dumped 29 plus inches of rain completely, completely wiping out towns, destroyed houses, trapped people in their homes, That need rescuing. Hundreds of people died. I mean, they never even saw it coming. It literally came out of nowhere. Our current administration said, here's $750, and that's all that we can do. Good luck. There's the door. Literally, they were told to take care of each other. So people around the nation decided that they were going to fly in supplies to those that are stranded and help the ones that they could. They were literally being told to turn around and leave or they would be arrested. When people stood up to help fellow Americans, the government stepped in and said, nope, we can't have that. Leave now, take the supplies you brought, or we will arrest you. See, the government needs to be needed. Why? Well, because if people all took care of each other and didn't need the government for anything, they would have no power left. They're letting people suffer and die and won't let others step in to help, potentially helping kill their own people. Why is it that our administration is always there to shell out millions and trillions of dollars to other countries, but refuse to help its own people? The current administration is not for the American people, never has been. It's almost as if they truly hate the country that they are the leaders of. Almost feels like that, doesn't it? What is the definition of treason? Well, it's the crime of showing no loyalty to your country, especially by helping its enemies or trying to defeat its government. Now, let me, let's just take a second there. It's the crime of showing no loyalty to your country, especially by helping its enemies. (laughs) Kind of seems like that's what's going on, doesn't it? I mean, that is the exact definition. And that is clearly what we have seen from this current administration. So why they have not been removed and arrested is beyond me. The veil has been lifted. All of their acts are out in the open. Yet they still remain in charge. Others who have committed treason spend their life in prison if they don't get the death penalty. But our administration is doing it in front of the entire world and getting away with it. What lesson are we supposed to learn from this test? 
because something has to give. The tables have to turn. Humankind would come together because there would be no one set out to divide constantly and relentlessly to keep the people divided. Something has to change. American streets are filled with homeless, drug-addicted people of all ages, and the government does nothing to help them. Millions of people have lost their homes because they can't keep up with the rising cost of living, and the government does nothing to help them. Millions of Americans are starving, and the government does nothing to help them. The people who are literally in the role of leading and protecting the people of this country have turned their backs over and over again on their own people. But Zelensky is sitting nice and fat over there, huh? He's eating great. His bills are paid. And it's all thanks to the leader of our country. If that isn't enough for people to open their eyes and see <clears throat> that, un that America is always put last in front of this administration, I don't think we could take another four years of this. Look at the world. Seriously, look at it. Look at the world around you. Look at everything that has happened. Look what is happening to human, to, to your fellow humans. Imagine how bad it will be four years from now. Seriously, seriously, please think about that. It's not even one against the other. The people need to do what's right for the people. They aren't living in this life with us. We are. They aren't trying to make ends meet. We are. They aren't trying to feed a family off a very small budget. We are. They are not in it with us. We, ha we all have to endure what's coming. But we don't need to beg for more disaster. We don't need to ask for more hatred and division and putting America last. I think we've had about enough of that, don't you? Let me hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I love you guys. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. And I'll see you all next time.